beautiful strangers and welcome to Fudging It. Remember how the other day we made a cilantro sauce? Well today I decided to make similar sauce but out of sorrel. I have sorrel growing in my garden and it's gotten kind of huge so it's time to use it. And I'm talking about the herb sorrel, not the hibiscus. So this is a very sour plant and we made soup out of it as well, remember? I'll put the link up there so you can see. There's no recipe, we're gonna fudge it as we go and you'll see it's a total fudging. I mean, if I have to repeat this, again, we'll just have to guess. It's all eye by eyeball, by eye, because that's how we roll here. I have my dill, my salt, garlic and onion, of course, a bunch of sorrel, Olive, uh, not olive oil, uh, sunflower oil, but you can use any oil that you have on hand, that's fine. And I'm gonna try rice vinegar and see how it comes out. But I'm gonna taste a little bit as I go to make sure it's not like too vinegary. So I have my sorrel here and I'm gonna put it in my food processor and blend it for a little bit. It's been washed and dried and totally fresh just from my garden just now. And let's do it. Throw my onion in there, just a few pieces. Get it going. I'm gonna pour some oil. Let's say probably a tablespoon of oil. And we continue doing that for a while. Ooh, it's pretty. Until at least one of the buckets is done, and then we'll see we can fit another bucket of soil into my food processor or if we need to scoop it out. And I'm gonna throw some more onion and maybe a garlic as well in there. So I'm gonna try the rice vinegar just a tiny bit. Oh. I'm gonna throw a bunch of dill, like a generous bunch. This is from my garden as well, okay? Let's put some more soil on this. Some onion, and another onion. All right, I'm, I think I'm gonna get a spoon and try a little bit and see. My dudes, this is so sour. Holy moly. My dudes, this is insane. It's so sour. <clears throat> so maybe we'll put some sugar in there later. But for now, let's continue washing. I'm also gonna add some salt and see if it breaks the sourness a little bit because, lordy lordy, it's insane. It's like eating a lemon times 25. We're gonna try it again, see if it improved by adding salt. Wish me luck. Whoop! Wakes you up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stuff. Okay, I'm gonna experiment. This is a sweet cooking rice seasoning sauce. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a tiny bit to break the sourness. If anybody's a chemist, let me know. Maybe you have better ideas. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna taste it again. Alright, tasting number three. It's a little better, it's more refreshing. It's not as crazy, that, you know, unless I just got used to it. Um, it does seem like it could use more dill for flavoring. Seems a little um, better with dill. So let's put more dill. So, more dill and mush it. Now, one more time. Hmm, more sorrel. Oh. I think that if you use white wine, that might help too, but we don't have any, so all right, come on. Let's pour a little bit more of this stuff. And a little bit more oil. And a pinch of salt. All right, ready? Let's do this. Let's taste it again. So important part when you're kind of Making an impromptu recipe, taste it like 5,000 times if you have to. Mmm, it's a little better. 
So let me, um, I'm gonna transfer it in the bowl and then show you the final result. Here it is. Look how beautiful. So that was my sorrel sauce making adventure for today, which was very entertaining, I'm sure. In the meantime, behave yourselves or not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!